The NRLW have had one of the most fast-paced seasons. They've had two this season, and now it is time to write the fairy tale ending for just one team to claim the title of the NRLW Telstra Premiership winners. I'm Renee Gartner, and I'm joined by Anthony Seabold and Seeds. Two teams, both debutants going into the grand finals. Uh, the Knights basically have flown out of the gate since round one and have just had their foot on the gas the whole way through. Yeah, they have. Uh, Tamika Upton, Jesse Southwell, led by Millie Borg. So a couple of really big signings from the Brisbane Broncos have been there in big games, won grand finals in the past. I think the experience of those two guys in Boyle and Upton will help someone like a Jesse Southwell, who's a rookie yeah. as a 17-year-old in her first grand final. But they've done an exceptional job. job uh, Ronald Griffiths, the, uh, the head coach of the Knights, again, has done a very good job because they finished last in the previous season and to make the grand final um, all within one year has been an exceptional job by the Knights. Yeah, big turnaround for the Knights. And you look at the Eels, another big turnaround from where they were in round one to where they are now. Yeah. They've just chipped away at the whole competition and I would guess they knocked out uh, Roosters. They came in fourth going into the prelims. You've got Dean Witters as the coach and you're almost starting to see some of his old match playing out with some of his players in the team. Yeah, so he was a fantastic ball player for those who remember Dean Witters. Short passing game, pre-line passing game, good offloading contact and he's got the Parramatta Reels playing through the forwards with those short passes and it's really effective because what they do is they get one-on-one -on -one tackles and then you've got people like Gail Broughton who's got speed and, and that ability to, to, to beat uh, defenders off the back of that. So they've been building every single week. They were probably Probably a little bit fortunate to get into the into the playoffs, but they had to beat the Broncos, and Broncos were quite experienced, and they had to beat last year's premiers and the Roosters. So they've sort of done it the hard way over the last couple of weeks, and they're battle hardened, and not many people sort of give them a chance. Um, but you know they've done a really good job to get there. Well, they're battle hardened. Um, one player in particular still got a question mark over her head. Coach Witters has said he's going to give her to the eleventh hour in Tiana Penitani. Yeah, she will be a big loss for the team. Yeah, if she doesn't play, like she's got great experience. Like she's played in big tournaments with um, you know the, the Australian Sevens rugby program. She's been a really effective player for Parramatta Reels over the last two seasons. Super talented player. So if she doesn't play, she will be missed. Um, but like they, they've shown last week they can, can replace players and they got that upset win against Roosters, as we said. But she'll be missed if she doesn't play. All right, who are you going to go with? Look, I'm going to go for the Knights. I yeah. think they've been more consistent over the year. And I just think they've got some strike players. Like Millie Ball through the forwards. I've spoken about Tamika Upton. I've spoken about Jesse Southwell, the young halfback. I just think they've got too much X factor when the game's on the line. Yeah, to me uh, names that have played some big games yeah. as well too. So, all right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for the year. Oh, thank you. Very much nice working with you this year and uh, not following you in tipping. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> all right. Tickets are sold out for the grand final, but both teams have live sites available, so you can join your fellow fans. You can find out more at NRL.com. If you can't get to this game, you can watch it on Channel 9, Fox, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 3.55pm.